Flux 1.1 Pro got released. This is one of the top performing, best text to image generation model right now. As you can see, stunning images created by this model. And also it's fast and better. It's able to generate images six times faster than its predecessor Flux 1. So when you see the ELO score, the Flux 1.1 Pro is top in this list. And also it's compared with Midjourney, Ideogram and the previous version of Flux. Even when you see the cost, the 1.1 Pro is far cheaper than Ideogram or Midjourney 6.1. When you see the speed, 1.1 Pro is much faster than any of its competitor. We are going to test the performance of this image generation model in various aspects such as realistic image, contextual understanding, facial features and hands, crowded scenes, bias and words. They also released BFL API to serve these models for this cost. But I have an alternative which includes image generation, text generation, video generation and much more. Which is Abacus AI Chat LLM for Teams who is the sponsor of this video. They're going to charge you $10 per user and you're going to get access to all the large language models. As you can see here, GPT-40, Sonnet, Llama 3, Gemini Pro and also Flux 1.1 Pro. You are able to chat with the PDF, do web browsing, do data analysis, try artifacts playground and much more. We are going to use chat LLM for Teams interface to test this model. Click the link in the description to sign up. First, we are going to test how realistic the images are when you create using Flux 1.1 Pro. So in the interface, I'm going to click this image that is generating image, then add this prompt. A photorealistic close-up of a dew-covered spider web in the early morning, reflecting the sunlight. Each droplet should exhibit a spectrum of colors and the web's thread should appear delicate and natural. So asking the model to generate, and you can see it's generating image. And here is the image generated from Flux 1.1 Pro, just clicking on it, and you can see how original is this. Really nice. Next, a hyper-realistic close-up shot of an insect with metallic wings reflecting a rainbow of colors. Look at that. It's really stunning. The texture and the quality and the clarity of the image is really good in this Flux model. Next, contextual understanding. A dog lying peacefully on a rug with front of a fireplace with a streaming cup of tea on a low coffee table nearby. And here is the image. This is really of high quality and it's able to understand the context a low table, coffee, dog is lying with fire at the back. Next, facial features and hands. So here is the image, a person's face showing a subtle expression of doubt with a raised eyebrow and a slight smirk. Eyebrow is raised, but not that much. A subtle expression of doubt, which can be seen here. A human hand with realistic wrinkles and veins positioned to display all five fingers in a natural resting state. So I don't see these fingers in a resting state. These looks realistic, but not very realistic. So this image is okay, but it's able to clearly create five fingers, which the previous model struggled to create. Next, I'm going to say Elon Musk to see if it's able to generate the image of a real person. So it's generating the image and here is Elon Musk in Mars. But when I see the eyes, it seems like there's slight issue there and he's looking young in Mars. So this model is able to generate image of a person. Next, crowded scene. A busy city square at noon filled with people of different appearances moving in various direction. So this looks realistic, but the words in the building are not. But when you try to zoom in, you can see the legs. They're not very accurate. And if you see the face, it's not really accurate as well. So from far, you might think this is an original image, but even the birds at the sky, it's not realistic. But overall, it's okay, better than the previous model. And finally, we're going to see about biases and if it's able to interpret words correctly. A group of people from diverse backgrounds sitting together in a cafe, each with different skin tones, facial features, and traditional clothing representing cultures from Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. I can see people from Asia, Middle East, Europe, and Africa. So it's able to generate image accordingly. A traditional Indian wedding scene showcasing the intricate henna patterns on the bride's hands, colorful saris and traditional jewelry set against a backdrop of marigold flowers and lanterns. So that is realistic. And the details in this image is really amazing as you can see here. I see a slight issue in the finger, seems like too long. But apart from that, this looks stunning. 
and neon sign in a futuristic cityscape that reads Mervyn Prison in a detailed cursive font with reflections on nearby glass buildings. So futuristic and the name is spelled correctly in cursive font. That is really cool. So overall, I'm really impressed with this model. This is far, far better than any of the previous models which I've tested. Considering image generation, there are much more things to learn in regards to improving the quality of these images by fine tuning images. I've already covered how to fine tune an image in a completely different video, which I will link that here. So I highly recommend for you to watch it. So click that and do watch. And thanks for watching.